Welcome back everyone. I have what is hopefully the final form of our addition. We don't have the official permits yet to start digging, so there's always a chance something's gonna come up, but we've spoken to so many people about this. Hopefully any changes will just be really small tweaks. If you've been following along, you'll notice this version is very similar to our previous designs, but we've had to rotate it since last week to make sure that we don't put any pressure on the pond near our house which honestly is fine. It did cause a bit of a setback having to redo some of the plans, but part of why we're doing this is for sustainable environmental reasons, so we didn't want to put any unnecessary pressure there. Not everything's the same though. The exterior got a pretty significant overhaul, so let's jump right into it. All right, so right off the bat, you can see the exterior changed quite a bit with the new roof design. Coming around from the side of our current property, you'll see that the roof is now gone from like your gable triangle style roof design and we've gone with a shed roof. So what that means is that since we wanted to rotate it from this southern exposure where all of our windows are, it now has more of a western exposure, which of course does play into um, our solar design later on. So we'll have to figure that out. But now that we have more of a western um, you know, exposure, we'll be able to see more of the backyard, which is really nice. Like this is where we typically hang out with like, you know, having a little fireplace there and this is where we tend to socialize. So this is gonna make it even nicer and easier just to kind of hang out with our friends in the backyard, which is great. And with the new shed roof style design, it actually kind of plays off each other a little bit with the screen in porch there, you know, having the opposite angles. I think it looks really good. The mudroom will stay flat um, just as it was before. So that won't be changing, but this is definitely the most significant change, which had impacts on uh, the loft as well, which you'll, you'll see in a moment. But you'll also notice we went with a bank of windows along the top. So these add in even more natural light, particularly because we're not getting a lot of the, uh, the southern exposure. It's going to be more of an afternoon sun. We want to get as much light in there as possible. And we've removed the small windows on either side of the ends as well, uh, which does mean that we'll may need to make sure one of these big windows is operable so that if uh, my wife or anyone is in the loft and they need to get out for any reason, uh, they can't go down the ladder, they can just jump onto the screen in porch here and then escape that way. And you can also see that we kept the little step down. I really like that design decision that the architects put in there in the past. So we've kept that uh, just as a neat little detail and of course really changed up how some of the doors and windows are. And you can also see that the bulkhead's back. So in our previous designs, we did have a rooftop deck style tunnel going under there. We have since removed that. So I'll show you a bit more about that when we go into the basement, but that really simplifies some of the design and, and eliminates some of the complexity. It does mean that we lose a tunnel, but it will make the basement easier to insulate and also keep costs down a little bit. All right, so now I've turned off the roof so we can look inside and we're gonna first do a quick little top down here. In fact, I'm gonna turn off the loft as well so you can see any changes that were made. And honestly, most of it stayed the same. The bedroom's still the same over here. We're still going to have the closets on the now east side. We're still gonna have some nice big windows. You can see we'll have a nice big window there. Doors to the bathroom, hallway. We're still gonna keep the conduit either side of the bedroom of the bed for any like low volt ethernet, whatever we wanna put. And also still gonna have the four outlets on either side so I don't have to deal with like extension cords and double adapters and all that good stuff and we'll still keep the, the pendant lights either side. So the bedroom hasn't changed at all. And neither has the bathroom, honestly. We're still gonna have the, the double sinks, the closets either side, you know, we'll do the tiled shower and all that. I'll spin it around so you can see. Um, it really hasn't changed much of anything. Uh, we'll still have, you know, storage for the, um, the hamper and kitty litter in there. So the bathroom really hasn't changed a whole lot. The hallway, if um, if I didn't speak about this at length before, the hallway is where we're going to keep the mini split. So you can see it's gonna be an in-ceiling mini split with duct, short, just short little duct runs so that when the bedroom door is closed, we still get heating and cooling into the bed even though um, the door will be closed. So that way it'll still heat and cool the kitchen and heat and cool the bedroom 
when we say have to separate some of our younger cats from some of our older ones, which I'll talk about in a little minute. And then moving into the kitchen, this has changed quite a bit actually. Um, I mean, the layout's roughly the same, but we have had to extend, oh, we were able to extend the kitchen a little bit. And that actually gave us some more prep area, which is really nice. So now I can say prep over in this uh, left-hand side, put it all into the, say the frying pan or the oven, and then put the dirty dishes right into the sink or straight into the dishwasher. So it's a really nice flow and layout. We're still gonna keep the cat towers either side flanking the kitchen here. But if I spin this around, you'll notice that the TV is gone. So now that we have a little bit more light coming in and the door location didn't need to move, it made sense to just remove the TV. We could have probably put it in one of these locations, but it honestly wouldn't have gotten much use if it was at a really awkward angle to sit and watch. So we just decided, you know what? It's, you know, it's a great time to just sit, relax, you know, look into the backyard. In the summer, we get sun to like, you know, eight or so at night. So it'll be really nice just to sit here and honestly just, just relax and look outside. Okay, so let's spin around to the loft. And what you'll see is not much has changed, but also a little bit has changed. So now that we have this bank of windows up here, we'll get a lot more light in and the headrooms changed just a little bit. So now that we have this shed roof design, the peak standing location will be more right along the wall here. Uh, but you know, my wife and I are like five feet and change, so it's not gonna be the biggest deal for us. They'll still be seven-ish feet at the peak. We're seeing if we can get, eke out just a little bit more headroom so we don't have to duck quite so much as we come up the loft ladder. But either way, it's still gonna be a lot of usable space. Uh, she will still have to have um, you know, her, her bookcase over here, so that's still there. All those little features, but a lot more natural light coming in, so that's really exciting. All right, now we're gonna go over to the mudroom, which is also uh, seen a little bit of change. Now, this is where you would normally come in and you would say drop your coats off or your shoes or whatever into the storage over here and either go into the main kitchen or you could say drop it over into the laundry space here or continue into the office or then down into the movie room. So this will be a great little landing place as well. But it does mean that the door is less of an issue. You know, in, in the past I mentioned that this was going to be key based on the layout. Now we have a lot more flexibility in it, to be honest. So if the door is a couple inches one way or a couple inches the other way, it really doesn't change the layout of this all that dramatically, so it makes it a lot simpler to, to plan out there. Now I'm going to just spin it around to the way you'd probably see it. Again, this is kind of where you would just enter. but you'll notice we added kind of a skinny little window at the back here. A little bit of fun, you know, it's not your traditional, you know, vertically oriented uh, bank of windows. I, I thought, you know, a, a rectangular one, roughly two feet by six feet, it just adds a little bit of interest to that space, particularly it's a kind of a long flat wall. All right, now we're gonna swap over to the office. This is something that I'm going to be building quite early on actually. Um, so you'll see some more of my like DIY style videos coming up pretty soon. But as mentioned before, you know, we lost the TV in the um, kitchen and we're going to turn this into a combo office slash temporary living room space. Temporary more meaning that, you know, it might only just be say my wife and I in here watching TV for a couple of minutes, but then, you know, we'll probably venture down into the movie room once I have that all built up too. As mentioned before, we do have uh, a new kitten and she acts a lot more like a puppy than a kitten, meaning that she likes to chew and bite on everything. So what that means is if I ever want her to come and enjoy the the office with me as well, I do have to make this as cord free and as clean as possible. She's very cute, but she's chewed through headphones, she's chewed through shoelaces, she's chewed holes in bags. And so, you know, it's, it's a whole thing. So my plan with this, and, and maybe it's a phase, maybe she'll grow out of it, maybe she won't, um, but, what it does mean is I want to make sure this is as clean and as simple as possible, particularly with all the office equipment that's going to be in here, like computers, laptops, screens, etc. All right, now for the basement. 
So let's go down to the basement. All right, so I'm gonna turn off the loft, turn off the main house, and in fact, I'm gonna turn off the backyard just to make it really easy to see. Okay, what you're seeing is a very simplified version of the basement. Uh, you'll see that it's just a basic rectangle. So the tunnel detail is gone. You'll still come down the spiral stairs. We're still gonna have like the kegerator bar area. We're gonna have a nice little just sitting, hanging out kind of a space there, a couple of couches. The ERV will still be here to uh, make sure that fresh air is coming in and out of the house. The network closet and the server uh, rack are all going to be in this back corner, uh, just like before, but it's actually even closer to my office now. The office is like right here. So that makes it only like 10, 15 feet away, you know, three, four meters, which makes it really easy to just connect all the cables up. Um, but, you know, as you come down the spiral stairs, you know, this is kind of what you'll be greeted with. You know, you can grab a beer, go hang out upstairs if you want, or outside, or continue on through the movie room. Now you'll see uh, this brick design here. I actually salvaged a lot of the bricks from the porch, the patio that was out there uh, before it gets dug up or destroyed by uh, the excavator. And I'm planning to rebuild the wall as a brick wall, uh, reusing, reusing those bricks. So that'll be kind of a cool detail there too. And then you come into the movie room, you'll have a couple rows of couches, and then the very back wall, this will be kind of a false wall. So there'll be a projector screen here, but it'll be hinged. So it'll either hinge out or up, kind of undecided which way I want to go. If you have a preference, let me know in the comments which way would be better. But either way, it's got a hinge so that both A, I can access any speakers or storage uh, for say canned goods I have back there, but also the town required that we must have an egress window at the back. Because of the layout, there is potential, you know, to say be trapped in here with only one door. They wanted to make sure that we have uh, an egress rated window at the back so we can escape that way and not have to run all the way through back to the bulkhead. Okay, thanks for following along. I'm really excited about this new change. It simplifies a lot of the complexities we had in the old one and has some extra quirks, which I really like, you know, with the new roof design and a lot more natural light. So I'm, I'm really excited about a lot of it, but I also want to hear from you. You know, we're, we're all friends here and this is a small channel. So let me know down in the comments uh, what you like about the new design, what you don't like, or what you want me to go into more detail. I'm going to be DIYing a lot of this uh, myself, you know, apart from the major structural elements elements, but a lot of that I'll be doing myself. So if there's something you want me to go a little deeper on or just take some other ideas at more of a high level, by all means, let me know and I'll make a video about it. But until then, take care friends.